The Spooky History of Halloween, From Ancient Celts to Modern Candy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating facts behind our favorite holidays, traditions, and customs. Today, we're going to dive into the spooky history of Halloween, one of the most popular and mysterious celebrations in the world. Where does Halloween come from? How did it evolve over time? And why do we dress up, carve pumpkins, and go trick-or-treating on October 31st? Let's find out! Halloween's origins can be traced back more than 2,000 years ago, to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, pronounced Samhain. The Celts were a group of people who lived in what is now Ireland, the United Kingdom, and Northern France. They celebrated their new year on November 1st, which marked the end of summer and the harvest season, and the beginning of the dark and cold winter. They believed that this time of year was also when the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred, and that the spirits of the deceased could return to Earth on the night before the new year, October 31st Street. The Celts feared that these ghosts could cause trouble and damage their crops, but they also thought that they could communicate with them and ask for their guidance about the future. To celebrate Samhain, they built huge bonfires where they burned crops and animals as sacrifices to their gods. They also wore costumes made of animal skins and heads, and tried to tell each other's fortunes. They left food and drinks outside their doors to appease the wandering spirits, or disguised themselves as one of them to avoid harm. When the Roman Empire conquered most of the Celtic lands by AD 43, they brought with them their own festivals and customs, which gradually merged with Samhain. One of these was Feralia, a day in late October when the Romans honored their dead. Another was Pomona, a day to celebrate the goddess of fruits and trees. Pomona's symbol was an apple, which might explain why we still have the tradition of bobbing for apples on Halloween. By the 8th century, Christianity had spread throughout Europe, and Pope Gregory III declared November 1st as All Saints Day, a time to honor all the Christian martyrs and saints. The night before became known as All Hallows' Eve, which later shortened to Halloween. All Saints Day was also called All Hallows' Day or Hallowmas, and the whole period from October 31st to November 2nd was called All Hallowtide. During All Hallowtide, people continued some of the ancient practices of Samhain, such as lighting bonfires and wearing costumes. They also went from house to house asking for food or money in exchange for prayers for the dead. This was called, souling, and it was done mostly by children or poor people. The food they received was often a type of cake called a, soul cake, which had a cross on top of it. Another tradition that emerged during this time was, guising, which involved dressing up in scary or funny costumes and performing tricks or jokes in return for treats or coins. This was more common in Scotland and Ireland, where people also carved scary faces into turnips or potatoes and placed candles inside them to ward off evil spirits. These were called, Jack O' Lanterns, after an Irish legend about a man named Jack who tricked the devil several times but was not allowed into heaven or hell after he died. He was doomed to wander the earth with only a burning coal inside a turnip to light his way. In the 16th century, during the Protestant Reformation, some Christians rejected All Saints Day and All Souls Day as being too Catholic or pagan. They preferred to celebrate Reformation Day on October 31st instead, which commemorated Martin Luther's act of nailing his 95 theses to a church door in 1517. This sparked a religious movement that challenged the authority and practices of the Catholic Church. Some Protestants also celebrated Guy Fawkes Night on November 5th, which marked the failed attempt by a group of Catholics to blow up the English Parliament in 1605. On this night, people burned effigies of Guy Fawkes, one of the conspirators, and set off fireworks. Halloween as we know it today was largely shaped by the immigration of millions of Irish and Scottish people to America in the 19th and 20th centuries. They brought with them their traditions of guising and jack-o'-lanterns, but they switched from turnips to pumpkins, which were more abundant and easier to carve in the new world. They also introduced the phrase, trick or treat, which was a way of asking for candy or other goodies, or threatening to play a prank if they didn't get any. Halloween became a popular and commercialized holiday in America, with mass-produced costumes, decorations, and candy. It also became more secular and less religious, focusing on fun and entertainment rather than on ghosts and spirits. 
Today, Halloween is celebrated in many countries around the world, with different variations and adaptations. Some countries have their own festivals that coincide with Halloween, such as the Day of the Dead in Mexico, which honors the ancestors and the departed with colorful altars, skulls, and flowers. Some countries have adopted Halloween as a cultural phenomenon, influenced by American movies, music, and media. Some countries have resisted Halloween as being too foreign or too pagan, preferring to stick to their own traditions or beliefs. Halloween is a fascinating holiday that reflects the history and diversity of human cultures. It is a time to express our creativity, our fears, and our hopes. It is a time to remember the past, celebrate the present, and look forward to the future. It is a time to have fun and enjoy ourselves with our friends and family. And it is a time to be thankful for all the treats that life has to offer. Thank you for watching this episode of Science Telly. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting facts and stories. And don't forget to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Happy Halloween, everyone! Stay safe and stay curious!